We're told that Marta babysits to earn extra money. She has saved $48.25. On Saturday, she works for eight hours and earned $13.50 an hour. How much money does Marta have altogether? Pause this video and see if you can work through that. All right, so let's just write out what's going on. So she already has $48.25. So we'll just assume everything is in dollars here. I don't have to keep writing the dollar sign. And then she makes some more money. On Saturday, she works for eight hours and earned $13.50 an hour. So just on Saturday, how much is she going to earn? She's going to earn eight times $13.50. So she starts with $48.25, and then on Saturday, she earns this much right over here. Now, order of operations would tell us to do the multiplication first, but just to make that very clear, I'm going to put parentheses here. This is what she started with, and then she makes this much on Saturday. So let's figure out what this is. So first step, what is eight times 1350? So I'll do that right over here. 1350 times eight. And the way I'm going to think about it is, let's just ignore the decimal for a second. Let's just pretend like it's 1350 times eight. And then there's many ways to think about where to put the decimal. Actually, let me do that over here. 1350 times eight. So eight times zero is zero. Eight times five is 40. Regroup the four. Three times eight is 24. Plus four is 28. And then, actually I'm writing a little bit messy here. So this was a zero, and then that was a four. Three times eight is 24, plus four is 28. Regroup that two. One times eight is eight, plus two is 10. We get 10,800. So the digits for this are also going to be similar. We're going to have 10,800 here. But the question is, where is the decimal sign? There are several ways you could reason through this. You could say, well, let's see. 13 times 8 is 80 plus 24. It's going to be about 104. So this should be a little bit more than 104. So that might be a good reason to put the decimal right over here. 108 gets us there. Another way you could think about it is to go from 1350 to go from $13.50 to 1,350, you would have to multiply by 100. You'd have to move this decimal twice to the right. And so this answer is going to be 100 times bigger than this one. So you could also divide by 100. And really what you're doing there, some of you might have already learned, when you're multiplying decimals, you can count how many digits are to the right of the decimal amongst both numbers. There's only two up here, one, two. And so when you take the product, you're going to have one, two numbers to the right of the decimal as well. Either way, Marta now has $108. Let's do another example. We are told Maddie ran around a 0.85 kilometer track five times. Aaron ran 2.75 kilometers. How much farther did Maddie run than Aaron? Again, pause the video. Try to work through this. All right, so first let's think about how far Maddie ran. The track is 0 0.8585 kilometers, and they ran, or she ran around that five times. And so we will, this is what Maddie ran. Maddie. And if we want to know how much more Maddie ran than Aaron, well, then we would subtract from that how much Aaron ran. So minus 2.75. So this right over here is what Aaron ran. Now, order of operations would tell us to do the multiplication first. But just to make doubly sure, we can put some parentheses around there. So let's first figure out what 0 0.85 times 5 is. So 0 0.85 times 5. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm first just going to think about what 85 times 5 is. 5 times 5 is 25. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 2 is 42. So this is going to have the same digits here, 4, 2, 5. Where do you think I'm going to put the decimal? Well, once again, we could say, all right, this is not quite 1, but it's close to 1. So if you multiply that times 5, it should be a little bit less than 5. So if I put the decimal right over here, that is a little bit less than 5. This is looking pretty good. Another way to think about it is, I have two digits to the right of the decimal in total, two digits to the right of the decimal in total. Another way you could think about it is, to go from 85 hundredths to 85, you need to multiply 
by 100. You essentially need to move the decimal over two spaces to the right. And so this answer right over here is going to be 100 times larger than what we need over here. So then you divide by 100. You move the decimal back two spaces to the left to get to 4.25. But Maddie ran 4.25 kilometers more than Aaron.